Hey there, my fellow lunatics. Dakin the Mad here, and today I want to go over the fishing skill. How do you fish? Where do you fish? What do the perks do? And what's the best way to raise your fishing skill? Well, let's find out. Alright, first, getting started with fishing, it's rather basic. Right click is the name of the game when it comes to fishing. You equip a fishing pole, you hold right click to charge up your line, and then you just let go to cast it. When the orange exclamation point appears in a speech bubble above your head, you right click to start reeling in the fish. If you get the fishing mini game, right click every time the fish is not red to reel it in. And that's it. Now, you can fish in any body of water within the game. As you explore, you will find sections of water with bubbles, indicating that there is a school of fish in that spot. Fishing in these bubble spots increases your chance of catching a fish. However, you don't have to fish in those bubble spots. You can fish anywhere. So you will want to avoid the bubble spots when you're leveling your fishing. And you'll understand why later in the video. As of the making of this video, there are five types of water. Normal water, the acid or toxic water, mold water, ocean or sea water, and the molten lava. Each water type has its own unique fish, as well as its own selection of unique valuable items or and other junk. Normal water is special though. It has unique fish depending on the biome that you are fishing in. For example, water in the dirt biome has different fish than water found in Azios' wilderness. This is true of normal water in each biome it is found in, including the dirt, clay, stone, wilderness, and desert biomes. Different waters require different levels of fishing skill for you to fish in. So basically, your fishing score matters for two things. Getting perk points and determining what kind of water you can fish in. That's it. So what scores do you need to actually fish in various waters? Well, normal water is the easiest, depending on the biome. The dirt biome and the desert biome are both able to be fished in with a 38 fishing. That's the lowest score you can have in fishing. I don't know if the desert water was intended to be that low or not, but at the time of this recording, I can fish out of it with a wood fishing rod and a zero fishing score. That may be a bug and may be changed later on. We'll see. The toxic water and the normal clay caverns water both require a fishing score of 60. The normal water of the Forgotten Ruins slash Stone Biome requires a 100 fishing score. Azios' Wilderness Water needs a 140 fishing score. The Mold Water needs 160 fishing. Sunken Sea Water requires 180 fishing. And the Molten Lava doesn't really require any fishing skill, it just requires the Galaxite Fishing Rod, which does technically give you a fishing score of 286, but it really doesn't matter what your score is. You cannot fish in lava without the Galaxite Rod. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at those skill perks. For fishing, we'll start off at the top here. We've got Angler's Advantage. And when it's maxed out, this allows fish to start 15% closer to being reeled in. So that helps you get them reeled in quicker. Very useful, especially to have right at the beginning as you're leveling, because that helps you level faster. Very useful perk to take. Next, we've got Fisherman's Luck. This one maxed out gives you a 20% chance to get fish on the hook. Now I will admit while you're leveling, this is not a great skill to have, but once you've maxed it out, this is perfect. So this is a great skill. Then we've got improved bait, which makes fish bite 
25% faster when maxed out. So this is a useful skill while leveling, but it is not that great when you are fully leveled up because you can get the same benefits as this from bait. And then you can also get the advantage of having fish, which when you're fully leveled up, you want to get fish. While you're leveling, you actually don't want to get fish, which I'll explain more in a second. So fully leveled up, take fisherman's luck. Leveling your skill, take improved bait. Next, we've got studied patterns. This gives you a 10% dodge chance. Depending on what kind of build you're running, this is really, really good. Uh, if you don't need dodge, then this is completely useless to you. I don't know why it's in the fishing tree, but it's really good for combat. And I guess it's kind of nice that it makes something in fishing useful for something not related to fishing. Either way, there it is. Then we've got Steady Feet. This gives you a 50% reduced impact of slippery movement. This is a really good one when you're dealing with all of those blue slimes, but if you aren't dealing with a lot of slippery situations, then this one isn't all that useful, but it is a pretty good general skill to have. It is worth taking if you don't have anything else to spend your points on. Then we've got Throwing Expert. This gives you up to a 50% increase in your fishing rod throwing range. This is the most useless skill in the fishing tree. And I really hope that a rework comes along that removes this completely and replaces it with something else because the distance that you throw your rod does not matter at all in the game. So unless you really want to get those schools of fish that are really far out there and you don't want to just build a bridge to get you closer for some reason, then I guess this is useful, but otherwise otherwise it's, it's a complete waste of time. Finally, we've got well-trained aim, which gives 30% of your fishing added as ranged damage. It's not a lot of extra damage, but if you're running a ranged build, it, it adds up. Take the extra damage. And then finally, we've got the power of Omega-3. When maxed out, this gives you a 15% damage increase against bosses after eating fish or cooked food made out of fish. A lot of the really good endgame food is done with fish, so this is a really good skill to take. And those are the fishing perks. So we're going to talk about two ways to raise your fishing skill. The intended way and the cheesy way. First, how is experience points calculated for fishing? Well, every time you successfully fish up an item, you get one XP. This is the same if you catch a fish in the dirt biome or in the lava. This is the same as if you catch a fish or if you catch trash. This is why I have said that you don't want to improve your chances of catching fish while leveling. Trash items give the same XP as fish and you don't have to play the mini game. So when leveling your fishing, the goal is to get quicker bites and hope for trash items. The best bait to use is the glowing bait. It adds 10% chance to get a valuable item or a non fish item and it can be crafted at the bait crafting station and it costs a glow tulip. Now, when it comes to gear, you want a goldfish ring, which you can fish up in Forgotten Ruins slash Stone Biome. And you're gonna want the Lucky Ring, which can be purchased for just under 2000 ancient coins in the vending machine. You can get vending machines in the metropolises within the sunken sea. None of the rest of the fishing gear matters for leveling your fishing skill. So you start by casting out your line. If you get a mini game, press escape to cancel out and then cast your line again. And just keep casting it and collecting valuables and other junk items until you get to a hundred fishing. It is going to take a while to max out your fishing, but you can do it all from the comfort of your base in the dirt biome with a wooden fishing rod. 
cheesing your fishing requires modding. Check out my video on how to mod Core Keeper. There's a link up in the corner of the video here. So basically you enable the auto fishing mod, cast the line, then go to school, work, bed, or whatever else you want to do and just let it fish for you. Now you are going to get fish out of this and it will take a lot longer since you're not skipping out on the fishing mini games. However, it's automated. So you're going to get the optimal fishing mini game every single time. So that does speed things up a little bit. Either way, you just walk away and you come back to 100 fishing. It took me about 16 hours or so to get from zero to 100 fishing with the mod. I just turned it on before bed and then I let it run all day the next day while I was at work. Super easy, nice and cheesy. So overall, I find the fishing in Core Keeper to be a bit dull. The minigame is fine, but to me, it's about the same as Stardew Valley, and I, re I really didn't like the Stardew Valley fishing system either. Uh, the fact that you don't get more XP for being in harder waters or for catching fish is just baffling to me. And personally, I hope that gets changed before release. If it wasn't for the mod, I might never have even finished leveling fishing at all. Though... I do think that they have done a really great job of making fishing useful. The perks have benefits outside of fishing, and the cooked food made with fish is the best in the game. So you don't want to skip out on fishing. I just wish it wasn't so boring. What do you think about the fishing skill? Leave a comment, let me know, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please be sure to hit that like button and if you haven't yet go ahead and subscribe for more core keeper content and until next time stay crazy <laughs>